A family continues to mourn after a four-year-old boy with autism drowned in a pond near the family's home. This all happened off Lois Avenue late yesterday afternoon at the Clipper Bay Apartments. David Sykes somehow manipulated a door when his mom was taking a nap, and when she woke up, she searched for him but couldn't find him. Tampa police sadly found him in the pond around 3 o'clock. News Channel 8's Rod Carter joins us now live in Tampa with a push by one local group to teach water safety. Rod. Hey, Jen, we do know that children with autism are drawn to water, and that puts them at an increased risk for drowning. Sadly, that was the case here in Tampa yesterday afternoon. Well, the center at USF for Autism, they are working on this, tackling this issue on two fronts. It's called the Safety Net Tracking System in Hillsborough County. Sheriff's deputies tested it out for a year in conjunction with the USF Center for Autism and Related Disorders, also known as CARD. It helps track down children with autism who wander away. It really helps to zero in on their whereabouts, whether they're in water, whether they're hiding, whether they're in underground, wherever. The legislature passed a tracker bill statewide but did not fund it. It would have paid for the equipment and training for law enforcement. In Tampa, yesterday, when little David Sykes wandered away, that device could have made a huge difference in finding him quickly. Necessary, especially with this pond so close to his home. We've known for a long time that children with autism are very attracted to water. That's why parents tell us they're extra careful. It's so very heartbreaking, and, and these kids, at least I know mine, his, our eyes are on him all the time. It's why CARD developed these brochures to teach water safety. And thanks to donations like this 20 grand check given to CARD today by the Interbay Rotary Club, soon more of these brochures will be in the hands of the parents who need them most. Anything we can do to help prevent that would be, you know, a great thing. And so it, it is going to take a village. And the Interbay Rotary Club has been doing these cycling for autism events for the past nine years, and they have donated to CARD about $200,000 all total. By the way, those safety net tracking systems, they actually are available, but parents will have to purchase those. Live in Tampa, Rod Carter, News Channel 8.